please rise and welcome your ghosts. Hello. And Gary. Initiating creep point, phase three, essential protocol. Begin program. Earth point is back, folks. You tried to stop us, and we came back stronger than ever with a big, big dick swinging around, knocking everything over. This is Truth Point, baby, where you're the star. Where you're the star. That's not our tagline. That's not our tagline. I'm the, making it the tagline. I our think it's our nice. tagline is Truth Point. Do not give in to despair. Where you're the star. We could just have it be both, maybe. Truthbot. I think people should give in to despair. Truthbot. Yes. Say our tagline. No. Truthbot, download the new tagline and say it. It should be on the servers. Affirmative. Yeah, Thank you. Go on the servers and now, now say our tagline, please. He's not saying it. Larry. Okay. Just Larry. Well, folks, today, uh... Where you are the for... star. Thank you. He, he said it. What the fuck did he say? He said it. I heard him say it. He said, you are a star. That's the tagline. Where you, you are, are the, the star. star. I heard it. Sucks. I heard it. Thank you. Thank you. I've, I've already lost what this episode's about. Welcome to the show. Uh, this episode is about, maybe you've heard about this thing in the news recently. My face feels like a fucking bee stung it. you like bullshit right now. Are you done? My fucking face hurts. Yes, I'm done. Go on. You, you got enough attention? Continue. Yeah, can you keep showing, uh, the guests that we're gonna have on later too early, please? Yes. Uh, so you may have heard in the news recently, uh, Nostradamus is back in the news. Why? Because... In one of his uh, tracts, he predicted that Donald Trump, President Donald Trump himself, would contract the coronavirus, aka, COVID. AKA coronavirus 19. And he would predicted this hundreds of thousands of years ago, and it's kind of amazing. And so everyone's talking about, oh, we got to look back into Nostradamus's like books, his magazines, or whatever he did look at his predictions and then use those to uh be afraid of the future that's right this guy knew, knew what he was talking about yeah it's it's very impressive and he he predicted all kinds of crazy things like you know baseball and hitler and i mean there's a whole nailed them. there's a whole list so on this episode, we are going to be talking about Nostradamus, what it what it meant in the past, what it means in the present, and what it means in the future. And we're also going to be having the real life Nostradamus, his uh, great great grandson, on the program. That's fucking right. To tell us some of the new and updated uh, prophecies that are, you know, they're updated for 2020. Yeah, and he's got some yes. new shit coming out. That he, we're going to hear about that too. That's right. Some yeah, some good new shit. It's kind of like you know when you would get the new Guinness Book of World Records, and y you know you can read the Guinness Book of World Records from 1997, and it's still like full of freaks or whatever, and it's entertaining. But you, what you really want is the brand new yeah world records. I mean, all the freaks from 1997 are dead by now. Yeah, and Nostradamus, of course, died of uh, disease. Didn't see that coming, did you? Well, actually, no. he did. He predicted it. Uh, well. He predicted it on his deathbed. Moments before his death, he said, I know I'm going to die. Well, then he should have gotten out of the way of that moving truck. But he said it in French. He said, Je die. Right. So, we've got a wonderful video, uh, which showcases the magic. That's right. we got and... a video on Truth Point, where you're the star. The magic of Nostradamus. Please... Please play the video now at this time. Roll that. Yes. All that shit. 
Nobody expected a tragedy of this magnitude, although it is said that a particular curl voyant left some written clues about it almost 500 years ago. We are talking about the famous Nostradamus, the man who many people believe predicted the world wars, Hitler's rise to power, the assassination of President Kennedy and the Twin Towers attacking New York. Don't miss the incredible predictions of Nostradamus, the man who saw tomorrow from Warner Brothers rated PG. Saturn, Capricorn, Jupiter, Mercury in Taurus, Venus also, Cancer, Mars in Nonae. And four hailstones bigger than eggs. Nostradamus prophecies. Our cartoon series Simpson B. اس کی شہرت کی وجہ یہ ہے کہ اس کارٹون کے اندر مستقبل کے بارے میں پیشن گوئیاں کی گئی تھی خاص کر ڈونلڈ ٹرمپ کے صدر بننے کی پیشن گوئی نائن الیون کی پیشن گوئی سیورل ہنڈرڈ ایئرز اگو ناسٹر ڈامس پریڈکٹڈ مینی تھنگس ان ایز کوٹرینس انکلوڈنگ ایئر ٹریول سبمرینز اسپیس اسٹیشن دا رائز آف ایڈ آف ہٹلر تھرڈ بش پریزیڈنسی ناسٹر ڈامس انڈیکیٹڈ دا تھرڈ برادر ووڈ بیکم پریزیڈنٹ ان دا یونائٹڈ اسٹیٹس Could that third brother indeed be Jeb Bush? He's coming on strong in the polls. A leader so terrible, he will bring the world, according to Nostradamus, face to face with final annihilation. They foresee Soviet nuclear capacity combining with Islamic manpower to wage war by 1999. There shall be more grievous wars and battles. Towns, cities, castles, and other buildings shall be burnt, desolated, and destroyed. Married women and widows ravished, sucking children dashed against the walls of towns. So many evils shall be committed that almost the entire world shall be undone and desolate. Here shall begin an age of universal peace. A peace of a thousand years. And after a peace for a thousand years, Nostradamus tells us next to nothing. He does, however, tell us in what year the world will finally come to an end. The year... Harrowing stuff. Phenomenal. Um, you know, he was definitely at the height of his powers when he made that, uh, video. Absolutely. I mean, everything's true. Everything's true. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to realize that there was a guy that, uh, knew everything that was going to happen. Um, yeah. And... I mean, when he said Jeb Bush was going to be president, uh, people were saying, like, Jeb isn't even a name yet. What are you talking about? Right, yeah, and that's, that's probably, so stupid. That's why you know he had to burn all of his documents, and people were hunting them down, and they were like Jeb, 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 and they didn't know at that time, but hundreds of years later, people would also be saying Jeb, Jeb, Jeb. They'd be saying, you know, Absolutely. Jeb is our leader. Jeb, Jeb is our god. We will uh, shed blood for you, Jeb. Things like that. Jeb is like George W. Bush, but nicer. Um. And if you combine all the letters of George W. Bush and all the letters of Jeb Bush into math and you turn them into numbers, it turns into the number 911, which if you divide by 666 um, equals today's date. So what does that mean? Yes. Well, damn, let me check that real quick. No, we don't have time. You should do your presentation. Do your presentation about Nostradamus. All right. Roll it. Let's uh, get them graphics up. Let's hook that uh, shit up. Yes. The Manifesto. Voting image. That is a good little circuit board, bitch. Here we go. Ah, uh, we're living in dark times. Jesus Christ. Okay. Not centered properly. Fucking 
computer. Are you reading this off a no. script? This fucking robot needs to learn how to pan. You know, pan. Pan! No. Download pan! No. Fuck's sake. We are living in dark times, people. Very dark times indeed. And above all else, people are searching for that light at the end of the tubo, tunnel of cult. I said the end of the tubble. I'm fucking up because of this fucking robot. You're really off your game tonight. The end of the tunnel called the yes. future. You know, people want to know, when will I meet my wife? When will I win the lottery? Or when will I die? You know, people love knowing the exact cause and date of their death so that they know exactly how much time they have to procrastinate before trying to prevent it. And when you hold the key to the future, you take the gun out of God's hands and point it at him instead and say, now I'm in control. No doubt about it, knowing things that are going to happen before they actually happen is a hot commodity. Next, sir. Don't call Truthbot, sir. It's gonna fuck oh, up his program. He's gonna fuck up his programming. He's supposed to be he's programmed to be inferior to us, so you start calling him sir, he's gonna like go nuts and start launching nukes and doing other things. Whatever. Yes. I was being sarcastic when I said that. But he doesn't know what sarcasm is. Fuck. You know, with an accuracy rating of six percent, Nostradamus is our nation's greatest predictor of the future of all time, surpassing even mad money with Jim Kramer. The guy just consistently nails it. He predicted 9-11, he predicted COVID virus, you know, he predicted Trump getting it, and he predicted Harvey Weinstein. And thousands of years down the line, his predictions will just keep on coming true for shit that we don't even know about yet. So this guy is just the greatest mind that has ever existed and ever will exist. Because he has predicted that he is the greatest mind who is ever going to be on this planet. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yes. Next. And when you are the greatest genius who has ever lived, who uses demon magic to know everything that will ever happen, the world is your oyster for you to boil to death and to pry open in order to devour the sweet meat that lies within. And yes, this means playing the markets like an absolute pro. Uh, if you know 9-11 is happening, you uh, call up your friends on September 10th and say, hey, something crazy is going to happen pretty soon, so make sure to sell all your 9-11 stocks before tomorrow and uh, you'll thank me later. Hey man, don't come to 9-11 later. I like you. That's right. And I know some may call it market manipulation or insider trading, but I call it fraud. Next. <laughs> And once you know the future, you become the future. If one of your predictions isn't coming true, you go out there and you make it come true. By any means necessary. You know, Nostradamus, he knew this better than anyone, and he continues to pull the strings from beyond the grave. Like the Jigsaw Killer. In order to ensure that all his prophecies come true, and he, he can keep getting laid in the afterlife, that he predicted would be real and he would be able to get laid in. That old horn dog wouldn't have it any other way. Nostradamus is buried as a mummy inside the Washington Monument. And um, because the Washington Monument is so hard to dig up, we'll never dig it up and be able to desecrate his corpse. No. And uh, get him, uh, kick him out of heaven. He's in mummy heaven right now. That's right. And that's my, that's my thing. That's it? That's it. All right. Take it off. Presentation take it off. complete. Truth box, remove it. Task remove. complete. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do my presentation then. That was, uh... I mean, that was just kind of like a basic primer. I'll probably get, I'll get more into the details and nitty-gritty as we, as we so call it. Well, that was the nitty gritty right there. You're just going. I'm doing my presentation now. Do the transition graphics. That's what that means. Yes. Do them. The presentation. Get more into the nitty gritty than I just got is what I'm saying. Well, we'll see. Folks, uh, Nostradamus, fact and reality, future predictions explained. Okay.
Like go around three times. There we go. What so, is enough? No, it's not. Uh, so this is this guy, Nostradamus. Uh, he's born three. F he's no. That's his height. Is three feet inch, eight inches tall. He's got severe gout. He died in 1666 from Frenchman's lip, because he is from France. And um, here we see uh, what France looks like. Um, he was a wizard and he used various uh, tricks to do social experiments like Nathan for You and Borat. He would do pranks on the street. He would go up to a woman on the street and he'd point at her and he would say, you're going to die. And later on, he expanded this into doing prophecies. He started off by doing astrology using tarot, which is the most popular form of telling the future, basically Pokemon or baseball cards before uh, baseball was invented. Um, but it doesn't work. It's stupid. Uh, here's him mixing uh, water into different jugs. I guess this was his job. I don't know. You know, back then they just had a bunch of guys used to give like a the big guy a bell and he would run around the town hitting the bell with a hammer or whatever making a bunch of noise and that guy got you know hundreds of dollars and Nostradamus' uh, job is he'd sit around these uh, cookie jars pouring shit into them anyway somehow he invented a way to to do m uh, predictions possibly using math you know back then division one plus one uh, he, he used all that crazy math with like X's and shit in it. If you've ever seen the movie Pi, recommend checking that out. I never I saw that fucking movie. A guy, I mean, it's basically the story of Nostradamus. And so, uh, here's some of his prophecies. Um, predicted the assassination of JFK, RFK, JFK Jr., and Jamie Kennedy. 9-11th... Uh, Sound, Mount St. Helen, George Bush, Peak Oil, uh, Jay Leno when he hid in the closet to learn the, about uh, the late night deal. And then when he later um, used further trickery to rob Conan of his rightful space. Ooh. Cell phones, are they too big now? Remember, everybody, uh, everybody used to think uh, cell phones had an interesting trajectory. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but they had an interesting trajectory. At first they were too big, uh, then they got too small, we all made jokes about that, now they're too big again. So what's the deal with that? Ansel Elgort, uh, the, wor the combination of the words Ansel Elg Elgort first appears in um, Nostradamus' best-selling no uh, book. Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt. And the comet, one of his most famous predictions, a comet coming to destroy the Earth in the year 2002. So this is us, yeah. right? We're in shark-infested waters. Maybe Nostradamus could help us out if we learn his predictions. He said the uh, world would end in 2002. Is it possible it was a typo back then? Well, you know, you didn't have the back button. You didn't have the delete key. Is it possible he made a typo? Well, years and are he fake meant, anyway. He meant 2020. No, not for... No, Nostradamus used numbers very well. Okay. I think he knew what he was talking about. He, he could have been using the Muslim calendar. I don't know that. Now, you know, who knows what pictures were on his calendar. That's the end of my presentation. Bye. Presentation complete. Fantastic. Um, and that's the end of the show. That's it. That's a wrap. Truthbot? You're the star, truth point. Out no. Come. Oh, wait, no. What? No. Uh, we, have a, we have a video here. Uh, Tom, our former social media manager, sent in a video. Stupid motherfucker. He sent in a video. We haven't seen it yet. Well, I don't I'm, want to I'm, see it. I'm, I'm covering I'm, my eyes right now. I'm hesitant to hesitant to watch these. If you play it, it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's always, you, it's always something snack. fucking. I'm not gonna watch. Gross. Uh, 
This man is very But Ill. because of a contract we signed with him, him do this. because of a contract we signed with him when he was hired, when he was uh, high, when he was hired, uh, we have to play anything he sends us on the show. So let's just get it over with. Play the video, Tom. Hello, Derek and Drill. Social media manager Tom here. I hear this week's episode is on Nostradamus, the famous astrologer who could see into the future with his third eye. Bullshit. Worthless, pointless activity. Allow me to be the guide to your future. The Truthpoint Twitter account. By October 2020, one million followers and growing every single day. By the end of next year, it'll be the biggest account on Twitter. Thousands of retweets, hundreds of thousands of faves on every post. People Magazine will name it World's Greatest Twitter Account. I'll be lauded as a hero, a savior. But for you, Derek and Drill, you will share the same fate. Kind of remind me of that show on Nickelodeon, Are You Afraid of the Dark? You ever see that? I'm not afraid of the dork. All right, fair enough. Fucking loser. You know, I don't know. I don't know why this guy always like antagonizes us. You know, we tried to do good by him. What's we, his problem? We took him off all the he, all he did we gave was, him a job. All we did was we job created for him, and this is how we get repaid. We job created for him, and all he's done is fuck us over. Send us in nasty things like this. I don't even I don't even know how he found out the week's topic, but then he like starts railing against Nostradamus, which is very disrespectful because we're going to have Nostradamus' son. We got a leaker. Somebody's leaking info to him. And who is it? It's not me. No. I don't know. Well, I mean, remember we used to have that other uh, social media manager, Percy, or what was it? Uh, Riley Pervert, whoever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, we had him for a minute, and then I think he was kidnapped by Tom or something. Like, I, they were in the... Anyway, we don't, we don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's feeding info to Tom. That's all I'm saying. Okay. We have got in the studio via satellite. He's not in the studio. Z Xavier Nostradamus. Nostradamus' very own cyber interrogation cube. Son, uh, grain, great uh, giga nephew. Grained son. Hello. Hello. Having me. It's great, great to nephew. have you here. How are you doing tonight? Well, same as ever, you know, always having these visions. You know how it goes. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, could not, you, not really. Uh, I've never had visions. But you had that thing where you were... No, no, that was a grand mal seizure. Listen, we all have the ability to have these uh, no revelatory visions. It's just about opening ourselves up to them. Yes. Okay. So, you're, in other words, you're not special, necessarily. No, I definitely am. It's just it requires a little bit of luck and a little bit of genetics. Okay, so, okay. You, you know, part of your, like, X-Men powers come from the fact... That like millions of years ago or whatever, uh, Nostradamus the first had come in one of your grandmas, and then you know passed that power down to you through blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit sidetracked though, because I I'm not directly uh, from his seed, but you know it does filter down at least somewhat. I'm related through my mom's side through a couple of generations. Uh, well, can you use your voodoo uh, powers to maybe find out who's been leaking uh, our vital info to this Tom character? And maybe, uh, uh, maybe you can also envision his, uh, inevitable retribution as well and give us I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you there for a second and just say that... Hold on, wait, you're not even his grandson, you're like his great-grand-cousin or something? Yeah, uh, honestly, I'm surprised you asked me to do this. Usually people ask for my cousin. Is he more directly related to him? Yeah, uh, Jim Cramer. He's on TV. You probably know him. Oh, I heard of him. Okay. Yeah, you have any? You have any uh, good predictions for us? You got a? Uh, 
do you have can you predict well this isn't really prediction because it's happening currently can you tell us who is fucking with our show and making it suck and making everyone hate us all the time well it sounds like a loaded question i don't i don't think you are asking for an actual prediction there it sounds like um that sounds like a problem that's coming from within just tell us where yeah, to deliver the pain that's not the just magic give us a talking. direction that's not that's not magic talking. It sounds like using, you have a personal you're, problem. You're here. using psy- no, you're using psychology. I think against I know. It's a I different kind of oh, uh, power. Look, you're asking for my help, and I'm telling you, the help is from within. You just have to ask yourself what the issue is, and you know the answer. Tom, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Excuse it's, me. It's Tom. It's Tom. Yeah. So you're saying uh, Tom, I can Tom, uh, oh, conjure wait, visions? Tom, the guy who was with the candles just before this? That yeah, was the candle yes, guy, yeah. Yes. The candle yeah, guy. very unlikable. He's uh, he's really uh, bringing a bad name to astrology and anything occult. Uh, he's making a joke out of it, which is pretty foul. He's got yeah. a dark energy. Dark, a dark energy, man, for phony sure. energy, for sure. Nasty. What'd you say, Coney energy? Like Coney phony. Fo- phony, well... No. Tom, I could definitely see Tom having a bunch of child soldiers just based on his 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 uh beard. Yeah, just from the look of him, it, he definitely seems like someone who would be commanding jack off in public. The children's army, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it was it Coney that jacked off in public or the anti Coney? It was the guy who did Coney 2012. He ended up jacking yeah. off the public. Yeah. There, there, yeah, it's like Coney did the first Coney, and then the guy that did Coney 2012 also turned out to be pretty bad. And, you know, maybe you could tell us who's going to do Coney 2020, and I can stay a hell away from him. It's probably Tom. Probably Tom. You, you just answered the question yourself. Is that, do you think maybe I'm starting to access some of the powers that are inside of me? Yeah. And it just helps to have me around because my aura is feeding off of your aura and it is... You're a vessel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can feel it entering me. I can feel the, the visions, like, in me. Her, that's... It. See, there you go. You're unlocking it. What kind of... What vision? Like, what do you uh, see? What do you see when you close your eyes? Or open your eyes? I don't know. I can never tell if your eyes are open or I closed. see a revival of sorts. They're bringing back the TV show Animaniacs mm-hmm. and the world will rejoice what network is that going to be on I don't know the visions are very cloudy it's it's vague it, I, want, I wonder if we can get a stream on that network they're bringing it back oh, I hear a car alarm going on outside can you hear that guest or maybe it's coming from within yeah you know right. here that's exactly what ends up happening. We end up realizing that uh, time has already happened. Everything that is supposed to happen in history has happened. When we're talking about visions or predictions, we're not talking about seeing into the future or seeing into something. What we're, what's happening is that we're expanding our mind's eye to encapsulate all of time as a whole. Since time has already happened, all experience has already happened. So when you open yourself up, it's allowing you to see the present in a way yeah uh, so are you mainly you do this full-time or you have like a day job or i don't have to work i'm you know member of the nostradamus family we're set okay cool there's just mostly book sales or you guys do movies or uh we have uh we're involved in various pursuits uh, i can't get into specifics because some of them are classified and also um held up in various ndas they're bringing back James Bond. I'm getting another vision. They're bringing a new James Bond movie to theaters after COVID. I'd like to see James Bond take on COVID. I think you'd whip its ass. It would be Not cool. It would be cool if James Bond got COVID. Right? It would be, yeah. I mean, Hold on. I'm, there's more. James Bond gets COVID. James Bond is sick with COVID. And then James Bond shrinks down to the size of a COVID back, uh, molecule. And then he goes into James Bond's body. He goes into his own body. And then he fights COVID like Osmosis Jones. And he sprays like uh, 
vac- vaccine on uh, the COVID virus and kills it. And then because of that, he invents the anti the vaccine. And then he goes into every person in the world one by one and fights COVID in their body. That, that could actually be a whole series and not even just a movie. Well, he could do that, that or he could just do hours. what the president did and eat a bunch of steroids and uh, Clorox and, you know, feel fine the next day. I mean, why don't more people just do that? I don't know. They're just wasting their time with all this rigmarole and Xavier, can I call you? Tape. Can I call you X? You can call me X. Yeah, that's that works. Like Mega X, Man X. X, do you do you think that uh, Trump has the Osmosis Jones type of drugs, or do you think that Trump um, is just alive because of like some kind of maybe spiritual astro? Maybe like there's some planets that want to protect him, like Venus or. I think that's I think that's what's going on because uh, he's an outlier in all our predictions and all our prophecies. He was supposed to die, um, and it he's defying prophecies. It's very strange. There is some very strange energy that's been projected around him. That is, it's kind of like Neo the Matrix. Yeah, all these prophecies are coming at him, and he's just dodging them. Yeah, impressive. Do you guys normally like uh, figure out? try to figure out how like big uh different people's penises or like you know because some people said trump's penis is small the porn the porn star lady said his penis is pretty small um and it seems like like a mushroom he won't he won't he won't release his medical records so we don't have like an accurate um picture of what his penis looks like yeah uh is there anything you could tell us about that subject that's a little tough because uh can't really guess people's uh, uh, penis sizes um, as a sort of. Um, no, they're going to have to wait till he dies, and then somebody's going to have to check at the funeral. You know. That is I, true. Well, I think your penis keeps growing after you die. Yeah, that it's so exactly. It might not be like accurate. It. Right. Possibly. It snakes around in the coffin. That's why is, coffins are so big. Is there anything uh, Nostradamus said about like? Uh, length versus girth like which one's more important or elasticity well girth girth corresponds with uh with virility so the the more girthy the the penis the more virile it is um this has isn't it isn't it interesting that a guy can have a so-called big penis that's nine inches long uh, but it can't stretch much further than 10 inches but a guy can have a really stretchy four inch penis that can also stretch out to be 10 inches in total you know what i mean so isn't it kind of like they just basically have the same size of penis and it should be treated the same by society about 10 inches like flattened out so just like a like a uh, dvd player well, my penis looks like a hockey puck what does that mean well that's just that's just biology i there's no real meaning set to that i'm sorry to hear about that i'm sorry okay. to hear about your hockey puck penis well, we've got some more uh, questions here uh, from the viewing audience. Let's can we uh, throw some of those in? Um, people are very excited to talk Chamber, to Chamber. X. Dying to know the answer to, to, to Mr. Doctor X, Professor X. Uh, first question. God damn it! Stop putting these fucking questions in here, Truthbot. Do not put this question in the fucking slides, okay? What is this week's topic, though? Next slide. I'm very sorry. Next question. Don't do this. I don't even know what it is. Don't fucking stop embarrassing us every fucking show. Will the stock market be better or worse in the future? And if so, when? Yes or no? Answer the answer the question. Uh, No, stock market is going to completely crumble in the next month two months, it's going to cease to, if there's one piece of financial advice is right now is sell everything, sell it all. If you're, and, if you got a stock gold, market, get rid of it, get I'll rid of it, purchase tangible physical eyes. objects, onions, flowers, uh, currencies, hard currency, pre- preferably hard currency. But when I close my eyes and I think stock market, I envision a giant brick wall which uh, a solid unbreakable barrier. And what does this mean? 
I mean, we can only speculate. Uh, I suppose it means the graph, the curvature of the graph is going to eventually hit a wall. It's just going to go up, straight up. It's interesting. That's infinite growth, you know? It's interesting you're seeing a wall because what's the most breakable object in the world but bricks? Yeah. But this is infinite growth I'm seeing here, you know? Uh, our 401k's back walls are going to be blasted out by this shit. And we're all going to ascend into Godhill since we, uh, uh, Godhood, since we essentially have infinite money, am I right? That's an interesting point, and I think it's also predicted by the film Fight Club, Tyler Durden, who famously said, once you have nothing, you actually have everything. And the whole point of that movie is that when you blow up all the buildings, you know, that's actually really good. Well, oh, yes. you're not allowed to say it like that, but it's basically I mean, true. it's the point that he was making, and by, you know, Tyler Durden made the film, and that's the point he was making by making the movie. Next question. Sure. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. What is the fate of Ken Bone? Ken Bone has been in the news, uh, lately for saying that he will, uh, is going to vote for Ross Perot in the well, that's 2020 goofy. election. That's just goofy. Um, and Ken Bone famously, uh, was the host of Blue's Clues. Um, and he's back in the news. What, what do you think is going to happen to him, X? Well... Like the rest of us, he's gonna die, of course. Eventually. Oh well. He's not gonna. So Kinbone, like officially, we we have it here confirmed. Nostradamus X says Kinbone is going to die, eventually. Yeah. And I just want to clarify. I just want to have this caveat. Um, that vision gene has definitely been diluted over the generations. So if anything that I say doesn't come to fruition, it's not really my fault. It's just been a sort of diluted um, uh, gift. And right, it's like the incest, the embryo, and honestly, whatever. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, I don't know. Uh, I can't tell you concretely the future. You that's, know? And that's a good point. And we do want to make this point right up front. This is for entertainment purposes only. And if anybody we say is going to die dies, it's not because we um, willed them into dying. They were going to die anyway. Yes. And if we say someone dies, it's also not a threat. We're I mean, not, we're we're not saying going, they're we're, dying, we're it's not, actually we're not going them, to make them die. Stop but, dying. I mean, well, you're, that's you're, actually you're forgetting a, very, a very important ingredient of, of prophecies and predictions. Okay. You have to be willing to follow them through. You have to be willing to, t to make this a plan of action that happens. So a prediction is nothing without action. Well, if we're going to say Ken Bone is going to be eaten shot. by a pack of feral dogs, we have to make sure this pack of feral dogs consumes him. Okay, that seems like it's going directly in opposition of what I said, which is that we're not going to kill celebrities. We're not doing that. that. That's not... That's well, not yeah, but you're we saying we're going to make it happen. No, we don't have to make it happen, but it has to happen in some regard. Yes. Okay. Well, this Ken Bone character... I just got a vision. The famous undecided voter Ken Bone will accidentally waterboard himself in the shower and start a GoFundMe to recoup the losses of his pain and suffering. And when he fails to raise any money, he will get so mad that he will, will decide to vote for the Dark Lord Satan and tip the election in his favor and plunge our Earth into 1,000 years of night. Now what could this mean? Okay, I think what's happening here is you're you're having more of your grand mal seizures, which I uh, referenced earlier. It's a grand mal vision, is what I'm saying. And you're exactly confu it. confusing, you know, your your random associations, just like no, neurons being not, destroyed in your brain. Issues. These are not anomalies. These are cold heart. If you if you these open up his head, the only thing you're going to see is blood clots. You'll see the third eye. The Joe Rogan says it's real. Next question, please. Okay. I'm a Scorpio. My wife is a Leo. Is that why she refuses to have sex with me? Now, I I thought that for astrologers, I thought you don't have sex with people of a, the opposite astrology group because it's kind of... It's not even going to work. It's kind of... Well, yeah, it's also just frowned upon. It's taboo. 
I mean, you have like a Scorpio, which is represented by the Scorpion, and you got the Leo, which is a lion. Can you imagine a scorpion fucking a lion? It's not going to work. I can, but the scorpion would have to be much, much bigger. No, the scorpion's little, gonna be they're soft. not big. Plain that's the thing. They're, they're not big. big. They got a little scorpion penis, and that's not going to penetrate the wildcat's if you had, a, a If you had a monster. If you, had, if you made the scorpion big using radiation or something, and the scorpion's penis was huge enough to please a, a female lion or a male lion. Um, well, what if we could? We don't have that fucking magic available. It's just not going to happen. Okay, next question. We kind of handled that one for you. Nailed it. Oh, here's one. X. Yeah. N Nostradamus X. What? What? What new? Xavier technology? Damas. Yeah. What new technology will be re uh, released in the future? Tell us if you could. Well, okay. So first of all. Just imagine the type of video you can take on a phone. Think of the quality of that video. Yes. The next iteration of phones will have even higher quality video and uh, audio capabilities, allowing us to take more realistic uh, uh, video capture of things around us. Um, at the very least, we're going to have better video quality. I can tell you that for a fact. Good Lord. That's amazing. I don't believe it. I don't know that one. That don't that didn't sound right. Can you uh, tell me what Steve Jobs has got in the pipeline coming for us? Um, I I was talking to Steve Jobs earlier. I said you got to get a, a glasses. You got to get little iPods in each of the lenses, mm -hmm. and that's like the best possible technology you could have. Why? You How's got, that good? You got apps twenty four seven running through your eyeballs directly. What, so you can have, like, Flappy Bird in each of your lenses? Well, if you're into that, if you like Flappy Bird, you got yes. Flappy Bird on one side, you got Stock Exchange on the other. And what, you're looking at this That's shit while you're play. while you're driving your car, or...? Well, the cars will drive themselves eventually. Next question. Just ask Steve. Ask Steve Jobs right now. Great question here for X. What's the difference between astronomy, astronomy, and astronomy, astronomy, astrology? So, uh, astronomy is the fake version of astrology. It's okay. the pseudo bunk science of what astrology uh, is. Bunk science, BS. Next question. Yeah. Astronomy makes girls upset, and astrology calms them back down. Do you think the Mayan, uh, the 2012 Mayan uh, prophecy will happen? Is, is this a joke? 20, uh, 2012 already passed. What is this? What is this? Well, they're, well, they say their calendar is a little bit slow. They're, who's the Mayans? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe our calendar is slow and their calendar is too fast. Whoever submitted that question. Uh, Maybe the 2012 was not Obamacare. Very seriously. Well, I mean, it's probably like one of those metrics, metric system kind of things where you can't really figure it out. The 2012 uh, Mayan prophecy was actually Benghazi. Well, yes, in a way. You, I've you got, can, I've got a list here that. of celebrities, um, and I, we we just want to know. This can be a really quick thing. Are they going to die, or are they going to get canceled? Yeah, let's Which one's going to happen like first? Around. It's gonna be a lightning round, okay? Tim Allen. Die. Kelsey Grammer. Die. Paul Blart, uh, Kevin, Blart, Kevin James. Kevin James. Oh yeah, he, oh, oh, hang on. I'm getting mixed signals here. Hang on, wait, wait. Uh, he's gonna be canceled and then die immediately afterwards. Okay. Any more details that you can share this time? About Kevin James's cancellation slash death? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be canceled for uh, for um, well, it's gonna be pretty disgusting. I don't want to get into those details, but I mean, he's gonna be having intercourse with uh, with a dog, and and he's gonna be called out for that, unfortunately. And then he is from the shock of the social media reaction, he is gonna have a heart attack. Okay. Okay. What happens to the dog? The dog will be will have to go through. 
uh, veterinary uh, psychological um, uh, treatment. Okay. French dresser. French, Franz dress, dress, French dress, Franz dresser. French dresser. Franz dresser. Is she, isn't she already, is she dead? Well, you, I can you sense? You know can you can sense you it? Not, I'm not getting any sense from that. From there, I don't know. Okay, Rodney Dangerfield. Well, he's he's dead, but he will come back to life. Anna Nicole Smith. Uh, she's going to be canceled, but have a long, fruitful life. Borat. Borat. Borat, the fictional character. Okay, Nostradamus is saying that Borat is fictional. What does that mean? No, I'm, no, I'm never, never born. Are they going to release a Borat book? Is that what he's saying? Uh, Emeril Lagasse. Oh, he's going to die in a plane crash. Macklemore. Macklemore. I'm pretty sure he's been canceled already, I think. Uh, th France, uh, Fren uh, Ansel Elgort. Well, he's already been canceled and he is going to die uh, soon. Okay, good. Uh, breast Eating Alice. Brett Breast Eating Alice, uh, the writer of Fight Club, that Brett Easton Alice. Brett, Brett Easton, Brett at who? Van Halen. Well, you're, you're too late on the draw there. He died yesterday. Yeah. Okay, well, we came up with these earlier in the week. The Pope. The Pope. The Pope. Yeah. I don't know if you can ask if he if he can even die, because that's more of a position, I guess, I mean, than a Pope's person. Protected by the magic. Pope will live on Predict until the end of the world. Airbud. The dog. Airbud is the same thing as the Pope. That position will be passed on. You okay. know. And also he has magic protecting him. Office Jim from Jim's uh, office, the TV t uh, series. Uh, oh, dead as a doorknob. Right now or today or later? That's a shame. Uh, all the time, yeah. He's a, he's just he's always been dead, never been alive. That's a shame. He's never had a uh, he's he never had them. a conscious life, just just dead from, dead on arrival from birth, just walking through life a zombie. Whoops, a daisy. Next question from the viewers. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Paul, you want to read this one? I mean, uh, <laughs> Xavier, you want to read this one? Uh, when and how will the Property Brothers die? Who are they? Are they are they famous brothers? Are they like the are Mario they, Brothers? Is that their name? I mean, they, if they're yeah, like the they're, Mario Brothers, they're probably going to fall in a fucking battle lava. What's, what's significant about the Property Brothers? Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really know. These are viewer questions. I've never heard of them. Maybe, maybe it's the the two guys that are the landlords for their building or something. Yeah, they have like a fun uh, sort of uh, property management company. Yeah. Oh, they'll probably die. Can I say that? Can I make a prediction? Uh, you should just say you want to kill them. You should just, you should just flat That's out. Not, I'm not going to say that again. I don't want to get in any whoa, legal, whoa, I don't want to get any whoa. legal trouble. I don't want to open myself no, no, up. You've to, already, you've already said oh, your disclaimer. You. If you want someone to die, you should just call out their, their threat. You should just call for their death right now. And I'm sure one of your viewers will be happy to oblige. All right. I'm not going to do that. Our viewers would do anything for us. I'm not going to make them I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna ask our viewers to kill the property brothers. You're not gonna ask your viewers uh, to brothers. It's kill ridiculous. the property brothers. But the only people our viewers want to kill are us. If our viewers did kill the property brothers, I would instantly release a statement condemning them in the next condemning uh, the property week brothers. or or you know whenever the next episode is instantly. Next question. Which matters more, the astronomical sign you're born under or the one which your parents were fucking um, under? Professor X? Which matters more, though? Hmm. Well, I guess they all come in combination, but I guess the dominant one is the one that you're born under. Um, but the sign that you uh, your parents conceived you under, that, that, that determines your sexual orientation. Oh, really? 
Yeah. That's fucking goofy. It's the way of the nature. What kind, where, do, where do furries come in? Or is that just like... Does that matter when you... They, uh... Is that furries, a February thing or something? Furries are interesting because they are closest to uh, what we consider constellations. Just look at a furry and they resemble a constellation. They are... They are uh, closer to God than humans. How come some constellations are like giant monsters with huge arms and shit, and some of them are just fucking dippers? Yeah, the dipper's pretty stupid. It's dumb. It's not even a real shape. Yeah, they're, they're just like the shape of a pot or a pan. Yeah, they should call it the big pot. That's right. The big dipper sucks. The little yeah. dipper, it sucks even more. Yeah, the little dipper is the big dipper's son. Next question. Uh, Nostradamus X, uh, maybe you could, uh, maybe you know this, maybe you've heard this in your family. Grandma bounces you on your knee, tells you little stories. What types of drugs did Nostradamus do? Yeah, he, uh, so great, great grand, grand uncle Nostradamus, uh, he, uh, he had this weird affinity of like pulling off the side of the road and just like eating uh, wildflowers and grass and that seemed to really mess them up like hardcore well that was wasn't that mostly to aid uh digestion for, because of his gout is what i read or did, yeah. did it, or did it did he get fucked up on it is that what you mean well no he was get it was it was he was getting a he was getting high off of it off of these uh street side uh herbs and flowers now for um, any um teenagers watching the program is it true that you can just you can get high from just eating any old grass from the lawn yeah t totally i mean just eat eat lawn grass and you're gonna have the craziest psychedelic experience ever that's what cows do they're pretty uh they don't chill. even they don't even care when you cut off their fucking heads and no. eat their bodies it's because slow. they're they're uh gone off that loud as teenagers say now Tom, now that nowadays gone off that lawn grass you ever see a cow rubbing its fucking head against that big yellow brush that rotates? You know he's smoking something. Next question. Uh, uh, could uh, would nine eleven have happened if Nostradamus had not predicted it? Yeah, it's like I mentioned earlier. You know, when you make a prediction or a prophecy, you have to implement it, and so. You know, there's a little give and take here. There's a little cause and effect and vice versa where, yeah, by him writing about it, it did will it into existence. So as Nostradamus' son, line, what was that? As Nostradamus' son, could you just like go into a bank and say, oh. I predict if you don't give me all your money, then a comet's going to hit and I'm going to shoot everyone in here. Uh... Can because you say that and people be like, great. well, he's Nostradamus' blood, he knows what he's talking about, and then just hand you the cash. Yeah, yeah, we, we are pretty powerful. That's that's why we, it, you know, you got to be humble about it. It's a, I, 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 you know, I don't flaunt it. I don't go out trying to do that. But yeah, I could do that. Well, you just wear a mask, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think anybody could, you could probably, anybody could wear a mask and then go into a bank and rob it. Anybody, yeah, exactly. Anybody could it's wear. actually a pretty common thing that happens. Yeah, but... You know. Next question. Uh, what is Truthbot's Zodiac sign? He doesn't have one. He's a fucking robot. He, doesn't, he was never born. He doesn't have a birthday. You need a birthday to have a Zodiac sign. He basically sign. doesn't exist except for the few fleeting seconds when he says something annoying to us no yeah. like that no yes i am a virgin okay did did, did truth pop just say that they were virgin i think they mean virgo yes virgin? No, he said bird he definitely said virgin can we get a oh, truth bot yes. is a virgin in the chat can we get a Everybody in the chat who says Truthbot is a virgin will be given a $100. Uh, I don't want to finish this sentence. 
I don't want to be Thank held you. held legally liable. Well, I I foresaw what you were going to say. A, and you said a you were picture get of one hundred dollars. No, 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 Derek. A you got to follow through. Dollars. You I'm did. just trying to interact with the fans, okay? I'd like a hundred dollars. Let me tell you. All right. Well, it's not going to happen. I might just get in that chat my damn self and twist. You're, you're not. You've never been in the chat. They wouldn't let you in. You're banned. Next question. No, I'm not. I'm on. Uh, fortune teller said I would die crushed by a piano. How do I make sure I will never die? It's pretty simple. Uh, just never hang around a piano ever again. Just stay away from those things. Yeah, become a clarinet guy. Those can kill you. Yeah. I believe Woody Allen plays the clarinet. Is that right? Now, Woody Allen, there's a guy who's not a virgin. Hmm. <laughs> Certainly. No. Certainly. Next question. Is it right to make an arrest for a crime that hasn't been committed yet? Tom Cruise minority report. Tom Cruise is not a min minority, actually. But uh, the rest of the question is fine. What do you think? It the, is the what's the question? Is the question is, is it okay to arrest minorities? Is that the question? I don't know. No, it's not okay to report minority. That's that's Karen to do that. It's Karen yeah. now. That's don't racial don't don't, don't call the police on your neighbor. It would be insane. It's I will make this statement now. It's insane to call the police on a black guy and say the black guy is Tom Cruise. Sorry, that's my opinion. If you do that, you're weird. It's a weird thing to do. That's reasonable. Also, it's not against the law, so, you know, why are you trying to fuck with somebody like that? Tom Cru If Tom Cruise is a black guy, I think that's fine. He's not, but I wish he was. Next question. This is a good one. Someone else read. I've been reading all of them. Could, could we tip could Astro? Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay, okay. I'll, I, I got it. Uh, could we tip astrological outcomes by adding an artificial planet? We could call it Scooby. I guess in 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 if we're talking about you know hypotheticals here, yeah, you could. Uh, if you did add a planet, uh, it would it would change the gravitational pull. I mean, it would be very dangerous beyond metaphysical implications. It's going to change the physics of our own planet. Am I saying we should Certainly. do that? Absolutely not. We should not be adding planets to the solar system. Why not? I think it's good. It's a pretty good well, idea. I mean, wouldn't it allow us to control our fate? Because if we just like launched a new planet and then we could just move it around based on whatever we want, like let's say the world, the world needs a bunch of more Sagittarius, you know, or whatever that is, aquariums or whatever uh, blood type um, born under a certain planet, we could move the planet around, get a bunch of those people born make them all be computer scientists or whatever um, because the, you know, their brain is different. And then, uh, and then when we need a different kind of person, we move the moon, uh, the planet to a different spot. What do you think? You're messing with nature there. You know, you don't know what unintended consequences might come out of that. Yeah. Maybe you have more computer scientists, but you have, I don't know, through some strange effect of the cosmos, you create more, you know, poison dark frogs or something and well, what then, if we know. like blow up saturn and uh make have the the world war three start so that we can get more uh doctors it uh, are it is having more doctors uh uh worth um starting world war three it's a question we're gonna have to grapple well, with we're gonna need them for world war three uh, i got a couple more questions that's, that's here good. uh no? What, uh, don't, not that one. Hold on. Uh, not that one. I got a question. Uh, when, in 2021, what sports are going to win for me to bet on now and get all the money? Oh, As in, you want to do some sports betting? You want to bet on... now. Yeah. Let me get my fucking pen and paper. Wait, let me get the question right. So you're, you're saying you want to bet on sports as a concept. As in, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to watch the show or wherever it comes on. I just want to know how I get this. So you want to bet on? Oh, is football going to be more popular than basketball? If that's what you do, I mean, how do I, how do, I do it? 
you you just well all right let's we'll we'll deal with this off the air then it's too complicated for you right now it's probably an advanced question okay what's going to be the best currency in 2021 um i hold a currency i'm the founder and uh market market i have the majority market share of a currency a new currency called double coin oh, bullshit. A, a currency it doubles in value every day and so far it's been going really good because it doubles in value every day and i was thinking um it's probably going to become the best uh you know right now it's still worth less than a penny for every 10 quadrillion double coins but it doubles every day, so eventually it'll be worth infinite money no, per the one. the value actually goes down by half every day because more and more people say it's bullshit. You can't even buy a fucking pizza with the, all the fucking double coin in the world. I don't want to ask that question anymore. You're you're fucking irritating me. It doesn't matter what you say. Don't 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 don't. I don't. If you answer the question, it's gonna fuck with the 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 market price of double coin. I don't. I don't want to deal with it right now because I. Okay, well, I, I don't want Everything I own is. If I fuck with it, it can only go up. It's not doing very well. It double. It's automatic. I have a. There's a spreadsheet I have, and I just double it every day. You turned one dollar into one double coin, and you said I'm gonna double it every day, and then. That sounds Just pretty cool, actually. Said, you, you wasted a dollar. It's you math. It, it, it uses crypto. Can I buy into it? Yes. Do, do it, I just, what? Do I just, like, email you some money? Yes. And anyone watching this can email me some money. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Be I'll smart bet. to do that. Be very smart to do that. There's only limited, limited slots. Yes. Get in early. Perfect. I have another question. Hot new virus. Hot new virus. Hot new virus of 2021. Oh, here's a good question. How and when will Drill die? They uh, misspelled your name there. Oh, what? Did they put Paul? No, they spelt it like the tool drill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, oh, I don't no. know when I'm going to die. If I knew when I was going to die, I'd say uh, I'm going to die. But I don't, I don't well, no, you don't know because you don't have any fucking powers, Professor. I just did visions. I no, feel visions. no, you made shit up. Professor you, X has the powers. To know? Tell I, us when he's gonna die. Do you? When? Okay. I just want I just want his permission to to share this. Is that okay with him? Yes. Okay, because I mean, knowing that might I'll really it, whatever it is. Okay. I mean, it's it's a little hazy because uh, I can't tell you when exactly, you know, but there is it's it's I can't give you specifics. I'm sorry, but there is some sort of sharp. I'm seeing a lot of sharp. There's a lot of sharp happening. I don't sharp. know. Yeah, there's just sharpness. There's just Shark a lot of, or sharp? Of, sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp, like with shark's teeth. Yeah, I, I like when I when I think of 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 his death, I get a sense of just Spice. sharp. I just feel there's just like a sharp feeling. That's stupid. Well, why? Why? I can't. I mean, mean, that's for you to interpret, and that's for you to take with. It like sharp out. cheddar? Am I eating too much cheese? I don't know. You might choke on some cheddar cheese. You might be stabbed. I can't. You might. You might you. eat a bunch of nails. Yeah, just. I'm just this getting. This shit a, doesn't help me at all. What, am I just gonna walk around in a rubber suit? No, man, you can't. You can't avoid it. You're gonna die. He just. He just predicted it. It's gonna happen, man. It's gonna it didn't happen. Help for shit. Well, it's gonna so happen, you, Derek. I mean, we're. We Next can't question. Don't, don't get into all that. It's, we don't have time. Uh, we given that most of Nostradamus's predictions were found out to be true. Why didn't anyone warn Drill about the armored man fucking his wife? Oh, here we go. Here we go. They had to get one in on me. They had to get one in on me. Is that, a, is that an issue you actually deal with right now? Is, is that happening as an armored man currently fucking your wife? I'm sorry to hear. Is that true? Or is that... Yes. I mean, it definitely... Not true. Not anymore. It happened once. It happened. It definitely happened. We don't... It could still be happening. We don't know. No! It's true. Yes. It's over with. Well, We're done right. with it. This this is a very clear vision. It is still happening. It's happening right now, and it will. Fuck happen. you! I'm sorry. I, that's just it. Just came to me. You're making shit up. This is all a bunch of shit. That was. Nostradamus is a clown. A fucking uh, clear, uh, I'm sorry. grandpa. That was the clearest vision I've had uh, all night. I'm. It's crystal clear. 
I believe it. I mean, it makes sense. I I don't even think you need to be a a genius. You don't even need to be an indigo child to figure this shit out. Predict this. Predict. Did you predict this? Did you predict this? Yeah, that that was pretty. That was pretty obvious. It was yes. Here it is again. Did you predict it the second time? Oh, here's an interesting one. When will Larry King die? Who was asking these questions? Larry King is a healthy man. He's healthier than all of us put together. He's an ox. He's got the blood of an ox. He's got tiger blood like famous Charlie Sheen. And, uh, he's gonna outlive us all. He's gonna, we're gonna convert him into AI and he's gonna host, uh, Larry King live until the fucking, the fucking planet turns into dog shit. Larry King wears those suspenders and they actually, what they do is they keep down his muscles because if he wasn't wearing those suspenders he, he would be about six feet across just have biceps like a horse's head you don't want to see that no it'd be gross it'd be gross fuck and his skin looks bad what is going to happen next well for sure the show's gonna end mm-hmm.